Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. Uh, as we're going to be traveling over to this uh, uh, downed uh, helicopter, this appears to be. Uh, this is not the crash site that we need to investigate, of course. That's much farther away. I think they want you to do these areas, knock these areas out, because uh, as you guys see, the the place that is marked uh, where uh, we need to go for our mission is saying that we are not a high enough level. So I think you do have to explore some of these other areas uh, before going over there, so that you can level your your characters up and and have a little bit easier time uh, on the main mission. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I had only planned. On doing. So I was talking to Aridia, and she told me about this ancient machine she had seen out in the zone, not too far from here. She said it looked like it had fallen from the sky, crashed into the ground, and it spread more than enough scrap around for us. Got some ghouls straight ahead. They're looting that crash site. Alright, so I try to shut the fuck up whenever we have these, uh, uh talking parts. Um, so yeah, we have an enemy... Uh, off on his lonesome. We'll probably want to get him taken out. It's a butcher, so I think one character should be enough. So what we're going to do is let's just set the duck up uh, over here close by so that he can help us out if we uh, are not able to to take him out in one hit. Uh, we'll just put him right here, and then let's bring bring our lady friend. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying, guys, is I unfortunately... Um, hold up, and we'll just uh, do it like so. Get him. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have... Um, more time to play the game because I was thinking that this was only going to be about two, maybe three videos. That's all I had planned for was a maximum of three videos. Let's go and take this guy out. And of course she would miss. I'm glad I brought the damn duck over here, man. Uh, why does she miss so fucking much, man? I know it's a 50% chance. I mean, I guess you should expect her to miss 50% of the time, but but yeah, uh, that's fucking us over. I'm really glad that I'm bringing the duck here to help us out. You right. Got an achievement for that. Take out the zone trash. Uh, and then we got some upgrades, some level ups as well. Uh, let's go ahead and bring all our hey, people back together. Um, but yeah, I don't... I'd only plan to do two, three videos because I actually have something, another series that I'm starting for the weekend and recording time is limited, my friends. Uh, so it's just not gonna be an option for me to continue playing past this episode. I just don't have the uh, the time. I'm not gonna have the time, guys. Uh, we can give him a bit more health. That would be super useful. However, we want if we want to be able to get the ability for him to fly, do I have to get this? Disable the uh, an organic enemy's movement for two turns? Because it seems like... I mean, I like being on disable movement for certain characters and stuff, certain enemies, uh, but for most enemies, that is not that useful because they can still fire on you. Uh, from from their location, uh, and I'm gonna take a wild guess that uses up your ability, uh, uses up your your turn. I guess it depends on if it uses your turn or not, uh, on how useful it is. Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna get that. I think we're just gonna get the health booster. Dux is always the one that's dying, so let's boost his health a bit. Uh, with her, could get the uh, thrower, which permanently extends throw range. However, I would prefer to get one of these two. So maybe we'll wait to. Yeah, I think we're going to wait, guys. I haven't found too many issues with throw range uh, yet either. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to finish what the hell I'm trying to say here, guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to continue uh, this past today. Look at these things. We are heroes. Grey One will love us. Make us our favorites. Grey One is our leader, not our friend. She sees these goodies, she takes them, kills us. Ah, stick it up your nose hole. Grey One is a weak old hag. Oh, I hope she didn't hear that. Did you hear that? Uh, I'm sorry, Grey One. All right, so we got a ton of enemies. We also have a medical bot, which these medical bots, man, I can see why you'd want the uh, EMP mod because they seem to eat your hits. They have armor, as you can see, next to the health bar. They have like two little armor brackets there. Uh, so they, uh, yeah, they can eat a lot of our hits. Uh, we have a ton of enemies over here. I'm seeing like some kind of dog thing over there, a zone dog. I think that was mentioned before, a pyro, a marauder. Um, we're going to want to chuck a grenade over there, I think, and take those guys out. But let's go and explore the surrounding area, see if they get any more opportunities to, to take out the enemies who are on their lonesome uh, before we uh, before we do this. I don't think we'd be able to take out that med bot um, beforehand, unfortunately. But what I want to do is like chuck a grenade or a Molotov over at those guys. Since they're all clustered together like that, we might be able to get them all killed uh, with a couple usable items. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any l enemies off on their lonesome just yet. I'm gonna get an artifact. Hipster fruit tester. Oh. <laughs> it's an like an iPod. This looks like uh, a testing contraption for fruit. I heard stories about singing fruit that could make music. Is this somehow related? Why the hell would anybody need to test fruit? You either eat it or you slay it at some bozo's head. I guess because it's an apple. A bozo like <laughs> you. I think it's a fruit tester. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and take this guy out. Um, he almost almost saw us, so I figured we'll go and take him out here. We don't need to be behind cover if we kill him. She's gonna fucking miss again. Yep. Good God, man! What the fuck? She just misses like every fucking time, man. Maybe she's not the one we want uh, for gotcha. our That's a wrap. for our scout. She seems to miss a lot. It's not very reliable. But anyways, I'm gonna be playing a new a new series, guys. These guys keep interrupting me, uh, so I can't get a thought out here. Uh, but I'm gonna be doing a new series this weekend, and so I'm not gonna have time to continue this one. You know, limited recording time and all. Uh, let's go ahead and regroup here. And so unfortunately, this is gonna be the last video. If this was like a full series, then that'd be one thing. But this is, you know, I mean, we're talking about uh, we can only play about uh, they said about two to three hours. Um, I think by the time I do finish this video, because I'll probably do like a little bit longer one, uh, maybe 45 minutes or so, uh, will be about, oh, I don't know, this is about a good two and a half hours worth of plan. Uh, so if if we haven't completed it yet, the, the demo, then that's fine. I mean, that means there's probably not a lot of content left. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and I am kind of being thorough as well. I'm, you know, checking everything. So that might mean that uh, it, it's a little bit longer to get through it. And then they had stated, um, but yeah, I mean, it, we're probably only missing just a little bit of the demo, guys. Uh, so I think I think that'll work out nicely. Uh, this will be the final one, and when the game comes out in December, we're highly considering uh, playing it. Um, I don't know if we're gonna play on PC or PS4 though. Uh, if if Jinx if Jinx joins us, we'd probably pay on, play on PS4. It's just more comfortable, guys. That's why we like playing on PS4, even games that you would, you know, normally. Um, you know, want to play on a on a uh, PC? We typically play on the console just because it's it's more comfortable for us guys. Uh, I got alpha level clearance only. Um, anything we need to know here? Not really. Let's go ahead and loot this scrap over here. And can I grab that scrap right there without being seen? Probably not. Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, so yeah, after we clear this area, if if we have time, after we defeat these enemies, I assume that we would want to uh, go back to the Ark and use all this scrap that we have. Okay, here he comes. Um, so what we're going to want to do is set ducks up uh, to also attack. We might actually, he might be able to move, in fact. Let's uh, attack. And let's just hope he hits him. Although, I don't, yeah, he doesn't have enough uh, health to kill this guy anyway. Or he's got too much health that we wouldn't be able to kill him. Um, anyway, so we have to hit, essentially. That's unfortunate. As she misses, as she's been doing. All right, she hit him, finally. Um, so now we need to use the duck. And we need to make sure he has uh, the best possible odds at hitting. Um, so probably just go behind cover right there. Um, yeah, right there, actually, probably be best. And uh, hopefully this is enough. Um... Yeah, 100% chance should be able to kill him. There we go. Excellent. Bye bye. We took that guy out, and that has given us a new item. Maybe because we got a high enough level, perhaps. I don't know, uh, but we got more level up. So let's go and take a look at what we can get. She has three points available. Uh, does not give us enough to get either one of those abilities. Uh, while Borman has four. And he can get, he can draw, he can do the Joker uh, one as well to draw attention to himself. Uh, or he can get the health booster. Uh, this is the Hog Rush. Can destroy covers, knocks out enemies for one turn. So, uh, summon untapped and extraordinary primal strength. Then charge into your enemies even through walls. Enemies hit others are knocked out for one turn. Well, that seems super useful. I think we're going to get that, guys. Oh, I don't have enough points. So we're going to have to save up a little bit more. That's fine. We'll save up. We'll save our points. Let's 
I'm gonna grab up the uh, weapon parts here. And we'll go inside the helicopter. See, uh, see what's in here. Ooh, Explorer's Helm. Where is immune to critical hits? Okay, nice. Um, who do we want to give that to? I guess we'll give it to... Oh man, I don't know. I think we'll give it to her. Yeah, that'll work out fine, I think. Never seen a corpse dressed like this before. Think he piloted this machine? All right. Um, so yeah, there's not really any reason we have to fight all those enemies. Um, because we got, it looks like we got most of the items here. Um, we might not be able to get that item right there. Yeah, whatever's in there. That's what I'm looking electronics here. All right, so we're going to want to set our characters up uh, wisely. It doesn't seem they move. Um, but we're going to want full cover if possible. I see a tree over here. I don't know how they don't how they don't see us over here, guys. But let's not think too hard on it. Uh, so we're gonna set one character up on that tree, and then I assume that medical bot's gonna come over here. Um, but really, I think we're gonna focus on getting these guys killed here. Uh, so let's put one here and then one on the other tree. Uh, let's make sure that we have all of our stuff equipped. Um, do we have any? We do not have any extra grenades. All right, so we're gonna use a hand grenade on them. I'm glad that we saved. That one hand grenade um, he doesn't have ducks doesn't have anything here so we're gonna try and get uh, the opening shot um, yeah I don't know yeah that wouldn't work all right so what we're gonna do is let's go and have her hide here have where do we want to put Borman probably put Borman right there no 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 ducks right here and then Borman will go over here. He'll get the partial cover because there's not two, uh, there's not more than two uh, full cover spots that I'm seeing. Uh, so we'll probably uh, use this partial cover over here. I mean, I guess we have this tree here, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna be, it won't be close enough to hit anything. So instead, we'll use this partial cover. It's not great, guys. Um, so let's see, let's use her to ambush. Cause she's got, their grenade and let's hit these guys up um, it looks like we can hit them all at once that's awesome and it's gonna just outright kill three of the enemies damn nice all right, let's go ahead and set these dudes on fire. Is there another dude over there that I can't see? Got knocked over, perhaps? Huh. Oh, no, okay, they're still labeled here, but I think I think they're dead. Um, not entirely sure, but let's go ahead and put these guys on fire. Or, actually, hold up. Before we do that, let's see who's got the best chances of hitting these enemies. Um, he could actually do substantial damage to him if he hits them. And this guy, I'm a little bit worried about him bringing somebody back. But uh, yeah, he has such lot, low odds. Let's take a look at his odds of hitting. I want to see who's the best one to, to fire. Okay. This guy has the best. Okay, this is the way we're going to do it, guys. Let's go ahead and use ducks for the grenade. Um, we're going to do Molotov right here. Set these motherfuckers on fire. There we go. And then, use our good friend here. Does he have better odds of hitting? Yeah, he does, much better odds. Let's move him one then. Might as well use all of our points. Uh, I don't think he, yeah, he just has Molotovs. Let's go ahead and, uh, I wanna say we should probably hit the pyro. There we go. Okay. So he should die. Oh shit. He chucked a Molotov at us. The Foreman's getting hit hard. 
really focusing in on him. We, we can bet that medic bot's gonna bring his ass on over here as well. Oh. He might have decided to attack somebody. And those melee weapons are, are uh, dangerous, man. All right, so we should probably get out of the fire. Just saying. <laughs> might be wise. Um, I th like I said, I think the pyro will probably die. Uh, so let's just go here. Bastard, got me. Let's we'll eat that fire uh, hit. There's really not much else to do about it. And then let's shoot the chief. Um, Cause yeah, I think the pyro should die uh, from the fire. Uh, we could also change up our weapon to do a bit more damage. Probably should have did that from the beginning. There we go. Knocked his ass down. Although the knockback doesn't really seem to do anything, honestly. Um, so Ducks is is here facing off against the uh, medical bot and. The middle bot is no joke. Can we hit him? We can't hit him. Um, but I think we're gonna move back to make him come after us uh, first. Uh, let's move back. Um, where can we move? That's a 25% chance. Here we have, I think we have a 100% chance here right now. Oh no, we still just have a 25% chance of hitting him. Interesting, hmm. Could hit the chief and get rid of him. Uh, that medical bot, though, like I'm kind of worried. He's not bringing anybody back right now, though. So let's let's go over to her first and see what she can do. Um, as far as like hitting people, see if maybe she can take that that chief. Oh, I never did change characters. My bad, guys. Um, we want to go to uh, Selma. Uh, let's see if she can't uh, take out any of these enemies. She could probably kill him. And she has no chance to hit him. All right, so let's let's fire on the chief and see if we can't get this guy killed. There we go. All right, chief's dead. I'm guessing that guy should die. The pyro should die. Although it doesn't seem he's taken any damage from the fire, I wonder if that's because he's a fucking pyro. <laughs> I suppose that would make sense. All right, so the duck is the last man standing, or last duck standing, I should say. I guess we'll move him here. Um, he can't hit anybody if we move him right there, though. But you know what? I don't think the medical bot can hit. We'll be able to get us either if we move over here. I could be wrong. We could just move here and not be in cover. You know what? Let's just um. Let's just hope he can't hit us with his melee weapon, and let's take that pyro out because yeah, I don't think he can be hurt by the fire. And we're just gonna use the crappy weapon for this one, not use our only shot with the crossbow. And yeah, he might have thrown another Molotov as well, so... Alright, so he can... He's so damn quick. Where the fuck is he going? Alright, so we need to get this guy... This guy dealt with, man. Alright, so, uh... We'll bring Borman. Uh, over here. He should be able to hit him from there. And then we'll use the, uh... Probably the Gaper, because that does the most damage, I think. 25% chance. It's two bars. If we hit him with this, this would only be one. Higher critical chance, though. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and hit him. Don't there we go. I wish the knockback did something. It doesn't really seem to do anything. Um, I don't know. I could be wrong. But yeah, it doesn't seem to have much of an effect. All right, we'll go ahead and move Selma over here. Have her shoot him. And yeah, we're just going to be ticking down at his health, unfortunately. Um, and then we'll use his uh, his bow. And he might... Nope, not quite. So he's got one health left. I'm assuming he's going over there to revive somebody. Now, why he didn't revive the other characters, I don't know. Seems like he's, maybe he's just a coward. <laughs> That's all. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and, and chase this guy. And we'll use the uh, the scatter gun. And it should kill him. We missed. Wow. All right. <laughs> Let's uh try getting it with the duck, man. Got a seventy-five percent chance. I don't know if Selma will be able to hit him. Uh, hopefully, we can get this done. What the fuck, man? Why is everybody missing? I think we can use the tree hugger on him so he can't go any further though. Um, 
Let me see if I can't hit him, what our odds are of uh, hitting this dude. Oh, they're terrible. Let's use the tree hugger thing on him, if we can. All right, so that'll stop his ass from moving. Yeah, he's not doing shit now. I can't believe both of our characters hit, man. Or missed. All right, did the damn thing. Worked out very well for us. Uh, let's go ahead and use the uh, the med kit for him, though. First, we're gonna go ahead and we'll go ahead and upgrade him first. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna do the uh, hog rush for him. There we go. Uh, the next two abilities are Twitch Shot, Fire 2, using, or Fire, maybe Fire Twice, using only one AP. Uh, and you get less accuracy, though. Uh, we got Corpse Eater, eat organic corpses to restore HP, because he's the fucking hog. That's awesome. Uh, so, yeah, he can eat, eat corpses to, to get HP if we don't have any med packs or just don't want to use them. Uh, looking at Selma here, uh, she has six points available, which are enough to get either one of these. Excellent. Let's do the... Um, I mean, I like the running gun. It's it's fantastic, but you know what? Getting the full cover bonus in a, in a half cover, or low cover, whatever you can call it, that would be super useful. So we're gonna get that. Ducks has uh, the ability to get nothing. I wanna get that flying the moth wings. So we will wait, uh, and then let's take a look at, um, that's right, we were going to go ahead and use the med kit on our good friend here. So it seems you can only use three mutations at a time, uh, so even if you unlock more than that, then you'll you have to make a choice on which ones you want to equip. All right, so let's go and get all this stuff picked up before it disappears. And what is this? Oh, another hand grenade. Awesome. And get all this loot. Lots of loot. Um, like I said, I kind of feel that we should go back to the Ark before we, we continue on any further. And we have got ourselves a pipe gun. Cobbled together from various metal parts and pipes, this crude gun offers a decent capacity and reasonable accuracy. Common stalker weapon. Okay, let's take that shit. Uh, I don't know who we're gonna have use it just yet. Um, it seems that a duck is, is our main range. Is it like a ranged weapon? That's the way I'm taking it, is that it's a ranged weapon. I could be wrong here. Let's just take a look. Uh, it's got decent range. Um, damage is just so-so. But it does have three ammo. All right, yeah, that seems like an all right weapon uh, to be rocking. Um, I think we're gonna use, let me see here. I think we're gonna give it to her though. Yeah, let's give her the pipe gun. All right, awesome. So Selma's got the pipe gun, she also has her ancient pistol. And let's finish exploring this, this region, guys. We're gonna go back to Selma. I like Selma, uh, even if she doesn't hit shit. She's got the fucking accuracy of a stormtrooper. Uh, but yeah, I like her. I guess I like her pistol. I suppose we could take her pistol and give it to whoever the hell we wanted to. Got some rare scrap. That's eight scrap. We also found another chest. Let's see what we uh, what we got here. Okay, another stalker vest. Nice. Um, I don't know who's not wearing armor right now. I want to say it's the duck. Yeah. All right, so the duck has armor. He should be a little bit more durable now. Oops. These broken gun parts, and I think that's I think that's everything, guys. Oh, apparently I missed somebody's loot here. It's medkit, nice. All right, so I think that's everything in this area. Uh, what I think we'll do, although I'm seeing red on the map here. Is there an enemy over here that we just weren't aware of that we didn't see? Uh, we probably want to kill him. There was a, uh, a loading screen or something that said kill every enemy that you you can, that you see, because you need the experience, and I definitely agree with that. So we're going to come over here and see if, uh, see if I missed an enemy. Maybe not. They did miss some scrap, though. All right, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that we missed. Uh, we'll come on over here, and then we're going to uh, fast travel back to the Ark. Oops. Or we'll go back to the high road. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to zone dogs can be heard calling out their pack, calling out to their pack before you see them. Prepare yourself. Oh, so the zone dogs can uh, also call in enemies, perhaps. Okay, so 
I'm glad that we took them out early then. Uh, what we're going to do, oops, uh, let's go to our map and let's go back to the Ark and uh, purchase some things. We have a ton of scrap. We got a couple artifacts uh, as well and uh, the gun parts too. Uh, so we're going to upgrade a few things. I think it'd be super helpful uh, in the next area. We upgraded a few things. And our character's a little bit better. I'm happy that you took on this mission to find Hammond. As you go deeper into the zone, questions will arise in your heads. You'll ask yourselves how this world became a wasteland. I'll tell you. A long time ago, a strange disease sprang up in a city not too far from here. A vicious disease. The eyes of the victims would go red. They would bleed from their ears. Hence its infamous nom de plume. The Red Plague. Within 40 years, the plague destroyed most of the human race. A quick rake of death scraping across the face of the planet. It was nature's revenge. Revenge against the greed, the arrogance, the egos of humans who thought they were gods. We call these fools the Ancients. We don't worship the Ancients like the madman in the zone do. Because our salvation doesn't depend on false gods who live in the heavens. It doesn't depend on the mirage of paradise beyond the zone. Our salvation depends on us. Us means humans and mutants together. And as two of our resident mutants, I bet you wonder who you are. <laughs> Where you come from, I wonder too. We all do. When I found you in the zone, you were shivering, naked, memories completely wiped. We took you in, taught you, and now you serve us as our hunters, our trackers, our warriors. We are indebted to you, stalkers. Never turn on each other. Hear me? All right, so a little dose Farewell. of the story. Remember your elders' guidance. Kind of revealing uh, some of the lore of the world. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and hit up uh, Prip's place first, the bar, because I like exchanging these uh, well, look what the items here uh, for some fantastic you. bonuses. Adds one plus fire damage to Molotovs. We got a ton of Molotovs. That'd be super useful. Unlocks an extra grenade slot per crew member. That doesn't seem as useful. Improves med kits by plus three HP. Increase grenade damage by four damage. And increase weapon damage by one. Let's go ahead and get this one, the Molotov one. We have to get it anyway along this tree. Uh, these do require two, so let's just go ahead. We're, we're about to hit the store up, so let's do the 20% the discount uh, at the store, uh, especially because that's where we get our, our med kits and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, some pretty good bonuses there. Let's go ahead and go to Delta's Fix Pit next. Use our... Heard you met some of them ghouls in the weird outfits out there. They call them shamans or something. Their screams alert nearby ghouls and sends them running straight for you. Next time you see a shaman, shut him up before all hell breaks loose. Okay. Um, so, uh, we're going to use our weapon parts to... Oh, yes, we can also install our mods here as well. Okay, what mods do we have available? Uh, we have the... Uh, the Noden, which is the, M the EMP one, and then we have the Driver one, which is knocking back enemies and increasing critical damage. Okay, uh, I want to say that we should probably add it to this one. Yeah, let's do the knockback, although I'm also really tempted to add uh, the ability to possibly disable robotic enemies with this one. You know what, let's, let's do that. Yeah, let's do the EMP onto this one. Alright, that's good. And then, um, I suppose we're going to do... Crossbow has the, the fire on it. Let's do the ancient pistol here. 
And she has the uh, scope on it. So let's do this one. Uh, this will be two additional. Yeah, we'll do that one. I love that it, it adds it to the weapon as well, which is awesome. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and use our gun parts to... We definitely want to go ahead and upgrade her weapon because she is... Uh, well, <laughs> it doesn't improve her, her accuracy uh, with it. But what it does do is that when we do hit, we should do a bit more damage. Uh, so it's 42, level up to 3. Interesting. Uh, I think we already leveled up the bow once. Um, I'm almost tempted to do her pistol up to 3 so we can kill even more people uh, silently. But man, she doesn't hit shit, so I'm kind of concerned about doing that. Uh, we could also do uh, Borman's guns and make them a little bit better uh, as well since he's up close. Having him doing a lot of damage would be super helpful. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Gaper's a bit better right now. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we could always do this, make it even, uh, make this weapon even even better. Uh, but his his Gaper's so good. Doesn't have as good a critical chance and doesn't have as much ammunition. Um, you know what, let's go and upgrade this. All right, awesome. And then we have a bit more scrap. We could have upgraded something to level three, but yeah, it's fine, guys. It's fine. Um, let's just keep the, the scrap. I could do the pipe gun. Just taking a look at it. Yeah, it might be useful to do the pipe gun for her. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade it up to level two. There we go. All right, we use it all of our scrap. Take it easy. Our guns are more powerful. Well, let's hit the shop up. My favorite, the Molotov cocktail. Simple and effective. Light it. All right, I got it. All right, let's go ahead and skip that. And we are going to get ourselves some med kits, guys. Uh, med kits are super helpful, though, man, there are a ton of items here available. Um, we got EMP grenades. Oh, wow, that would be, you know what, we're going to buy one of those. Uh, it's 150 scraps, so we need to leave a bit of room for that. Um, pyro armor absorbs fire damage. Ooh. Huh. That mean you don't take any fire damage? Interesting. Oh, it's from the fire department. Okay, that's... Yeah, that'll be super helpful. I almost want to do that. Um, and then have, like, Borman be our fire guy or something. It's 120, though. I wouldn't be able to buy shit else. All right, we're not going to do that. Let's, let's get the EMP first. And then we'll, we'll have to get this at a later, a later time. Uh, let's get medkits. It's a bit cheaper, and I think that's all we'll be able to get besides smoke grenade. So we are done here, guys. Safe travels. All right, so let's go back out in the zone, and we're gonna be traveling over to the high road, and then we'll hit that location up. Uh, which does mean I think I have to travel. I think I have to travel back up the. Uh, the ladders and stuff. I assume all the enemies are going to be dead because I don't think they're going to let you grind where you'd be able to uh, kill enemies over and over again to get the, the experience. Uh, so, so yeah, I think this is the only way, only way to do it. Um, let's go back through here and just, uh, just got to walk. Uh, I wish there was like a sprint or something so we can get through it a little bit quicker. Uh, but yeah, there's not. Uh, but yeah, enjoying the game so far. We're going to play about 10 more minutes, so I'd like to get to the other area. Uh, but yeah, we're just about done here. And as I said before, this will be uh, the, the last video until the game comes out on December. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking as far as whether I sh we should play it on, on console or PC. Like I said, if, if Jinx does join us, we'd probably prefer to play it on, on PS4. Just because it's more comfortable for us uh, recording on the PS4 because you can sit on the couch and it's just easier. You get two people together, it's just not as uh, just not as comfortable on the PC. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other enemies. However, there's something here like the items are back, perhaps, or something we had forgot the loot, maybe. All right, we'll take that. Two scrap. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure, guys, why these items are back. They don't, maybe we didn't get this one. Yeah, maybe we didn't get these items. That could be what it was. I could. I remember coming up here though. Yeah, we got this mod before. All right, well, whatever. We'll take it. We'll take two. And uh, let's get out of here. Go to the next next level. We'll play as much as as I can. Um, but I do need to get off here soon. It's getting ready. Getting close to to dinner time. Pick up the broken parts. 
and travel to the tunnel. Butcher ghouls look weedy, but they can deal a large amount of damage up close. Those uh, melee weapons in the game are devastating. They can uh, take your health down substantially with just one hit. Ooh, all right, so we're in a creepy ass fucking tunnel and shit. Weird place for a mass grave. What were all these people doing? Running away, I think. Maybe the Red Plague hit their town and they needed to evacuate. Evacuating or stampeding over each other to be the first one out. Dumbass ancients. Yeah, there's general disrespect for the ancients. Um, for our culture, our civilization. Uh, they're impressed with what we made, but... we captured, right? Right? They, uh... They ran away. I lost them. You let your stalkers escape? The bubbleheads are gonna be mad at you! You better get them back! I can't! The boat took them across the river! And now the bubbleheads have the boat! But where's your boat? If you don't get those stalkers back, they'll shred your brain! Right, so they captured some stalkers and they got away. I'll take a wild guess, that's maybe Hammond's group. We'll go ahead and get all the loot over here, and then we'll engage those enemies. Hopefully they're still together so we can chuck a grenade at them. Speaking of, of grenades and stuff, let's go ahead and get some stuff equipped here. Uh, Bowman's going to be our resident uh, um, robot dealer. Uh, he's going to damage all the robots. Uh, so we're going to give him the EMP. We'll give him the Molotov as well uh, with uh, the duck. Give him a grenade and a Molotov. And then our lady friend here, Selma, will get the grenade. All right, excellent. So we we'll probably want to get into sneak mode. And then we're going to attempt to set this up so that we can engage these guys and maybe take them all out with some... Oh, there's another goddamn med bot, man. All right. There's a pyro, which means the fire is going to do nothing to him. So we're going to want to use a, a grenade. Uh, so what we're going to do is let's set... Um, we'll set Borman up over there, uh, and then he'll throw his grenade at the med bot. It's a level 10 med bot. It's got a fuck ton of health. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and set up, um, we'll set up the duck right here. So let's go ahead and separate these guys. Ducks is going to take this location. Piggy. Borman will take, we're not going to go any further. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Set him up there, and then Selma will come up over here. And she will likely be the one to engage them initially. Oh, shit. All right. Let's have... We're going to activate all of them. Let's go ahead and have the duck throw his grenade over here. I'm going to attempt to damage all of them. Looks like we should be able to hit them all. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw this over here. Do a little bit of damage. Gotcha. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to want to take Borman and have him. I guess we'll have him move right here. So he gets a good cover. And then we're going to have him chuck his grenade. We need to dismantle that, that med bot. Those med bots are dangerous. Uh, so we're going to take the um, EMP. It sucks that we're using it initially, but uh, I think it it's wise. We'll go and hit all of them. I don't think it'll have any effect on the others. But I figure might as well. Alright, so it disabled him for two turns. Got it. Um, so now we got our last uh, character here. Uh, let's go ahead and have... I almost want to just chuck a another grenade over here because uh, these enemies are so... But you know what? Let's not use all of our grenades all at once. I don't think that would be wise. Um, which one does more damage? Looks like this one does and it has a higher critical chance, though it's not going to knock them back. Uh, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, hit them with the, the pipe gun. Damn, nice. All right, so he only has one health left. He's gonna chuck, you know he's gonna chuck that Molotov over here. Damn it! Get up with the spare ribs! No sweat! 
Oh, more enemies are coming. Oh, some of them not doing good. And there are more butchers along the way. I, well, I'm glad that I kept those fucking grenades. We're gonna want those. Oh, that's a fuck ton of enemies. All right. Maybe we should have, uh... I don't know. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't have, um... Uh, done it this way. I don't know, maybe we should have took those butchers out over there. I think we probably should have. That would have been wise. Alright, well, nothing to be done about it now. Let's go ahead and I don't feel so move. Good. And I don't think she'll take another shot, but I, I really feel like we need to we need to kill somebody here. Um, could hit the med bot. Could hit the hunter. Very low chance of hitting the hunter. Um, let's, let's get rid of the pyro. There we go. Excellent. Master, great work. All right, so Borman, um, I don't remember which gun has the. I think it's this one. Yeah, this has a chance of EMP. So let's go ahead and use it on uh, our medbot here, our medbot friend. We need to take him out before he. Uh... You got. Nope. <laughs> I was hoping to take him out. All right, so the ducks. Uh, let's go ahead and have um, him. We might have to move, guys. He has a no chance of hitting him. No chance of hitting him. Yes, we will have to move, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, come over here to the... We can hit the med bot. I want to hit the hunter, though. So that's a shame that we can't get him. Hmm. We could also chuck another grenade as well. What does he have? He just has the Molotov. All right. We're going to go here. And then let's attempt to kill the net bot. Well, I mean, we'll better kill him. <laughs> Take his health down. And so the butchers are going to be quite close to us now. We're going to use the Molotov on them. And I think... Oh, nice. He did not go after Selma. Excellent. Because Selma would have been dead if he had gone after him. I'm really salty that I didn't kill these guys uh, beforehand. That's probably would have been super helpful. Um, so let me take a look at Selma, see what we can do here. Uh, does using the, um, does using the milk kit, okay, it doesn't uh, take up our turn. Excellent. So let's go ahead and use med kit though, it won't let me. Oh, okay, that's right, we have to do it this way. All right, so we've healed so that she doesn't die. And then let's uh, attempt to, to shoot these enemies here. We got the med bot. Um, or the hunter. Can't hit anybody else. Uh, let's let's fire at the... No, 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 no. You know what? Let's take a look at our other characters first and see how we want to do this. Uh, he has um, a Molotov left. Um, can he hit over here? I don't no, it looks like he has the range. Let's chuck the Molotov over there, though this would end our turn. So before we do that, we might want to uh, take care of his other stuff first. Um, if we're going to reload or anything like that. Anything that we'd want to use this turn for. Let's take a look. Um, I guess we could reload his weapon. Yeah, let's do that. Let's be efficient. And then let's chuck this Molotov over here and get these guys, these guys burning. There we go. All right, let's see what the duck can do. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think he can anybody. Oh, he doesn't have ammo, got it, got it. Uh, he could always reload his weapon and I think that's what we're gonna do, man. Let's go ahead and reload it since we're not moving this turn. And then, maybe not quite. Damn. All right. Maybe we'll get lucky? <laughs> yeah. Nah, he didn't die. All right, well, this is a shame. And let's go ahead and have her. Uh, she could take out the med bot, but I think she should hit the hunter instead. Um, I think that's probably the best way to do it. She, she could also do the grow thingy and then lock down all of these guys, though it wouldn't lock down them. Well, that's a shame. Um, all right, that's fine. 
maybe next turn. Let's just fire on the hunter for right now. You right. Since he has a gun. Alright, so we did substantial damage to those butchers. And thank god he's going after the duck instead of Selma. Yeah, those uh hunters are not doing well. Okay, so he's trying to bring him back. That means we do have to take the med bot out this turn. No other options. Um, now that those other enemies are over here, uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to use a grenade. Um, though, we could always reload first. I think we will go ahead and reload. Yeah, let's go ahead and reload the uh, crossbow. And then, let's see if we can't hit. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I just don't think it will be worth Well, he's almost at Borman. Could do it this way. Can we hit that guy? We cannot hit all of them, unfortunately. Alright. Let's just do it here. And that should kill those butchers. Um, when they run through it next turn. So, this guy here. Um, well, let's, let's actually take a look at her. And see what odds she has. Um, to hit something. Uh, so we could do... Take out the med bot. She has a very good chance to do it. And I think that's exactly what we'll do here. Let's go ahead and take the med bot out. There we go. Alright. And then we'll use uh, Borman to take out our friend here who is not in the fire. There we go. Imagine he's going to come over and hit us. Oh, no, he died. Alright, so both the butchers died. That Molotov got him. Um, he missed ducks. This is the last dude. This is the hunter. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get this guy taken out here. Go ahead and move. See if the duck can do it. He's got good odds. There we go. Nighty night. Not too shabby. All right, did the damn thing. That worked out fantastically. Um, yeah, that worked out really well, even though we ended up uh, engaging all of the uh, oh God, the butchers, all the butchers, uh, where I would have preferred to uh, kill them over there. And it worked out all right. 50% uh, ch chance to burn enemies with this mod, the broiler, one plus additional critical damage. All right, let's go ahead and open the chest, see what we can find here. And we got a state switcher, a uh, roughly crafted long-range rail rifle formed of parallel banks of batteries and magnets. This alignment allows the state switcher to fire a metal slug with some force and uh, to quite a distance, 20 range. So a sniper rifle, essentially. All right, that would be super useful to uh, have and maybe get to use sometime, but it won't be in this playthrough because that is going to be it, guys. Okay, um, you had me at the ghoul screams, but now a pile of friggin' bodies? You want to give me a heart attack? I, I don't think that there would have been much left anyway, guys. Uh, if I had to guess, um, you go through this tunnel area. Just taking a look at the map. Um, you go through this tunnel area, and then I think you go to the House of Bones, and I believe that's it. Although, no, no, no. I think this is it, actually. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, the zone smog is thick in this area is yet to clear. Yeah, I think you finish up the, the Cave of Fear. And then you come over to this uh, boat area, and I want to, it has something to do with the water. They said uh, the final area you can go through is something about a lake or a river or something like that. Uh, so I, if I had to guess, guys, that would be that would be it. Um, so there might be like one more combat area outside of this place, uh, you know, in the other other area that we would be able to engage in. But I'm pretty sure it's it's pretty close to being done the demo. Um, but the video is starting to get a bit long. I mean, we could play for a couple more minutes, guys, but. For the most part, uh, yeah, I think we're we're gonna be done here. We're not gonna be able to. We won't be able to fully complete it. Um, I never did. Coming. Bring everybody back over here. I'm going to get all the stuff. Just kind of see what what was over here. What we would have gotten. Got another Molotov. We need to equip, uh, re-equip all of our guys as well because we used everything that we had here. Um, yeah, nobody has any items left. Oh, she never used any of hers though. All right, so what we'll probably do is is uh 
How do you unequip? There you go. And give it to him. So that everybody has a good name to get themselves out of sticky situations. But yeah, I'm enjoying the game quite a bit. We ended up getting another Molotov anyway. Uh, it's uh, it's really fun. Uh, I love these these tactical boys based games. They're uh, just a blast. But this one adds the. Um, I'm sorry, dear Tina. I'll let you guys read that if you want. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it adds the element of having the real time exploration, which is is uh, awesome. I like the uh, real time exploration. Um, kind of let you just explore the world, uh, try and take out enemies uh, away from other ones. Um, the ability to medbots are abandoned by the ancients after the fallen could easily be reprogrammed to serve the goals. Uh, um, yeah, you can easily uh, you know you can use it to also get loot, all kinds of extra scrap and weapon parts and stuff. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like the game. I'm looking forward to uh, playing it a bit more, seeing all what it has to offer. And yeah, we'll look at the map and see if this is the last zone. Yeah, the Sea of Titans. This is the last zone. I knew it had something to do. It's a sea. Um, yeah, this is the last place. Hammond told me he wanted to cross a big body of water to get to a place called the House of Bones. He said the crash site was near there. So yeah, this is the the final area. So even if we did quit and not play anymore, because you know the combat does take like the combat zone does take uh, or a round of combat, I should say, it does take about a good 20 25 minutes. So, and I don't have time to record um, tomorrow or the day after. Uh, so, yeah, fortunately this is gonna be the end here. For dead duck bodies, but I never see one. Are we the only mutants in the zone? You're right. There are no mutants in the zone. I've been checking bodies ever since you mentioned it. Uh, no, her stalker Anton note. I'll let you guys read that. House of Bones. And yeah, uh, we do have upgrades. We could always have applied. Ah, like, oh, we got the moth wings. that have been really cool to be able to check that out in battle. Um, we'll probably use. I mean, yeah, the ability to fire twice is incredibly helpful. And she has three points, which uh, does not get us running gun. She can get frog legs, jump to any location within range. Yeah, the the little mutant upgrades, mutations, they are awesome. Super helpful. I'm gonna grab whatever's in this chest here. A new hat, kiss me quick, plus 20% critical chance when hidden. Oh yeah, that is gonna be super helpful to use for her. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. We'll give her that that uh, critical chance because she fires from uh, stealth typically. Uh, and where is immune to critical hits? Man, that's let's do that one. I think that'd be useful for Borman since he's our, our tankish character. But we're already kind of getting our character situated, you know, uh, determining how we're we would use them. Uh, I think the duck would probably be our more stealthy character, our sniper, or actually not so much uh, stealthy, but our sniper character, our long range. I'd probably give him that that uh, sniper rifle if we were to continue playing, and yeah, we would use him for. Um, it's judgment day, sinners. Obey me, and your soul will be saved. Ah, <laughs> making my head spin. Did you hear that? I heard the same voices when me and Hammond got ambushed. Ghouls popping up everywhere. Check that guy out. You see him? Head like an infected mushroom. You think he's leading the ghouls? Wait a minute. That's the guy who attacked me and Hammond. I think Hammond recognized him, but... That was the last thing I remember. He's one of the Nova sect. I heard stories about them. Bogeymen with big heads. Didn't think they were real. Bet he's real enough to take a bullet, though. All right, guys. So yeah, this is a rather large zone. I'm guessing this is where we need to go. We need to get the evac control key, uh, which we'll probably have to get off the bodies of one of those enemies over there. Um, bummer, couldn't finish the demo. 
Um, but I think it's a very good look at the game, and we, since we can't go any further than this map anyway, that I think it's a great place to end it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, maybe check back around uh, December as well for maybe continued coverage of this game once we get a full uh, version of it. It is a bummer that I couldn't play any longer, but it's getting really close to dinner time here. So I'm going to need to start getting dinner ready. Uh, and I, like I said, I think it'd take probably a good solid like 20 minutes or so to finish up this this map area here. At least 20 minutes, if not 30. So I just can't uh, just can't do it tonight, and I don't have time for the next couple of days. So sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you do it. Did enjoy this this uh, quick early access look at the game. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the game, what you thought of the series, and I uh, hope to see you on another series or possibly this one uh, later on uh, if we continue it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.